Jonathan and Lacey, this is Mom, and I am wishing you a wonderful wedding day. I've written a couple of things down that I wanted to share with you. Uh, Jonathan has been special to me ever since he was born. He's my child, he's my son. I'm so proud of how he's grown up, the compassion, empathy, work ethic. He's just a, a man I'm really proud of. I'm glad we still have a relationship that we have gone into now that he's an adult. And Lacey, I just want to really welcome you into the family. I can see why Jonathan fell in love with you and wants to marry you. Uh, you are beautiful inside and out. As far as wedding relationship advice, the only thing I can say is as a marriage, as a wedded couple, you're going to be uh, even stronger than you are apart. One thing I would like to make sure you always remember is to be who you are as a person. And you have to make your own self happy. You can't depend on another person to fulfill you and make you happy. You're going to be wonderful as a couple, stronger, but you have to still appreciate each other's differences and why you fell in love with each other and why you are together a couple again but still your own person so always remember to allow each other their own time part and appreciate your time together and one other thing is just so you know you're always i mean everything's going to be happiness but you are also going to go through some tough times so just always lean on each other and trust each other so anyway, wishing you the best. Love you. Okay, so first of all, I want you both to know that this will always be one of the happiest days of my life. Lacey, your birth was also a day of unforgettable joy for me and a day that I will never forget. As a mom, I've always tried to help you to make good decisions. I'm proud and pleased to tell you now that this choice to marry John is the right one. And I can say that without any hesitation. I'm honored to be your mother and to have a son-in-law that I do adore. I'm grateful to know that the two of you can absolutely have it all. I see you as a power couple. Lacey, I prayed before you could even speak that you would be healthy and smart and one day a great wife and have my grandchildren. My prayers have been answered. I am happy to bless this marriage and I want to support it in any way I can. This is the beginning of a journey as a couple and as you find your way, remember to appreciate each other. Be forgiving and be a good listener. Remember, people will tell you everything. Just listen. You know, I always say that. As you celebrate this wedding day, know that it's a special day to be remembered and celebrated, but it's the first of so many blessed events in your lives together. Lacey, you've always filled me with so much joy. I'm incredibly lucky to have you as my daughter and as a treasured friend, actually. I feel like we hit the jackpot, the jackpot when John came into our life. John, I want to thank you for making Lacey such a happy person. I couldn't wish for a better man for Lacey and a papa for Bane. I knew you were the one when we vacationed in the Keys and without hesitation, you attended all to all their needs. You, you really were an answer to my prayers. <clears throat> Your concern for both Bane and Lacey impresses me very much. From the moment we met about the handrail, I saw fireworks between you and Lacey. May the two of you have a long, healthy, happy, peaceful life together. Remember, everything happens for a reason. The angels were busy making all the arrangements for you two to meet. You didn't meet by chance, and I thank you both for letting me love you and watch you grow as a couple. Congratulations. 
now by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church Monastery and the great and wonderful states of Maryland and Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife, John, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. Cheers to the newest Rickies.
the first time I seen John, uh, I was remodeling Lacey's house. And we needed to have a railing made, a metal railing. And uh, we uh, inquired about somebody to do it. They were busy and they said they know some young guy and uh, that was very good at making railings. So one day here John shows up and he's down there with me measuring this rail and Lacey come walking in and I looked at John and it was like he had stars in his eyes. <laughs> it's like I seen him right away and it was, there was an attraction there. And uh, I come back the next day and he's there again. You know, all we wanted was a railing. <laughs> and now look what we got. <laughs> Go ahead, I just want to tell you, Lacey and John, that we are very happy for both of you. We love you both. And we want to tell you to always keep God in your life. And he will make sure that everything goes well for you. Your paths are straight. So just remember to keep Christ in your life and you'll be, you'll do well. First of all, congratulations. They said you're going to play this after the wedding. So um, it'll be good to see. And I hope you see it while you're on your honeymoon and your much deserved honeymoon. Um, I think a soulmate can be someone who is who you make your mate. And uh, you got to work on it and they become that which is very important so that being said you know the day that you two met I know was a special day and I'm glad of that day that you met because I think I know Lacey was and I think you John were looking for somebody too and you're when you saw each other, you knew it was something special. And uh, that's very important. That's how your mom and I were, Lacey, when we saw each other. And this is, what, almost 35 years. So, that was a special day. You'll never forget it, and I'll never forget it, because that's the day that John came into our lives. And um, that's awesome, because John, you are a very good person. I've been around a lot of people in my life, and family, and business, and uh, I can sense, I have a sense about what type of a human people are inside, their spirit, and you're a good one. So I thank you for that, that you came into our lives and you uh, really fulfilled Lacey in a time that she was empty, completely empty. It was not good. And then, Bane. I, that trip to Florida in the RV, and then, well, and also on that uh, vessel, whatever that thing was, that we went on that boat, uh, I got to observe you and Lacey and Bain and I can see how you love both of them very much and that's something I don't see very often in my life a man like you 
that would accept a, a, um, a son. And he loves you, and I thank you for that. So I'm going to wrap things up because I can rattle, rattle on, but uh, I do want to say again about a soulmate. You two have found yours, and I don't think it was predetermined. I think you fell in love at first sight, but you made it what it is, and I appreciate that. And I love you very much. Congratulations. Bye. Are you happy mommy and John got married? Happy mommy. Happy mommy. Happy mommy. I was happy mommy.